Hey everybody, James here at Canon Place. This is a companion video to the one I just did about how to set your controller. Sometimes customers will press the wrong buttons and they'll end up somewhere that they shouldn't be and then they start changing numbers there and then the controller stops working. Here's what's going on everybody. So, like I said in the previous video, the way to set this temperature is you start with the up button. And then you get that flashing green cursor in the bottom right corner and then you just go through your up and down and your left and right until it's at the temperature you want. Then you press set once and it's set. It goes to this screen which I call the power screen. And this letter means automatic mode. This number means how many percent of power it's giving per plate. So for example there 48 means it's giving 48 percent. Now it's giving 17 percent of 500 watts per heater and so on and so forth. Now it's giving zero. So that's what that is. So what people are doing is they are thinking that the set button is the start of the temperature change programming, but it is not. Again, it is the up button that starts you the temperature change. When you press and hold the set button for too long, this is what you see. LOC zero. Now this is lock zero. So what I've done here is I have locked the customers out of the back end of the programming part of this little computer. Um, if this number is not zero, you need to set it back to zero. So for example, if I change it to anything other than zero, well, I'll just change it to six, and then I set that, and then for whatever reason I remember, oh wait, this is how you set the temperature is by pressing this first. So if I press this, you're still going to get the flashing green cursor, but the controller will not work. You can't even move that dot over one spot. It just doesn't work. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it doesn't do anything. And then you press the set button again, and of course it comes back to your power screen. But yeah, it's not working. And yeah, people think that they have a broken controller, but they don't. So, but here's how you can fix it. So, if your controller is not working, all you gotta do is press and hold your set button. Let go when the screen changes. And if it does not say LOC0, set it to LOC0. And I promise you, your controller will work. Press your button to get into it. You see the flashing green cursor. And now you can change the temperature. You can move the button over. You can change that temperature. You can even flash all the way through it and come back to the beginning and set your temperature. You're good to go. Your controller works. And now you know. Everybody have a fantastic day. This is Cattle Plates.